Hi, and welcome to The Scoop. My guest today began her career as a medical practitioner in Burundi in the mid-1980s. As an infectious disease specialist, she spent several years as associate director and acting director of the HIV AIDS program at the World Health Organization. You grew up in Ethiopia. Yes. Uh, this was the time during Haile Selassie's uh, reign. Um, then when did you leave and why did you leave? I left two years before the change mm -hmm. because I used to go to the French school and if you are successful and good, you are given a scholarship to France. So I worked in the night, I worked to be a hostess somewhere, I worked to be anywhere, anything, any job I found and pay my studies. And had you heard of HIV before yes. this? You, yes, yes. Did you studied it? So when I arrived in Burundi, my first patient came with all of those symptoms mm. that that professor was talking about. And I said, is this really HIV? And that's how. Mm. And then, you know, it's, it was coming one after the other, one after the other. One. But at that time, as you know, it was taboo in Africa. The African governments didn't want to say that they had HIV. So you would always have to say that the patient died from pneumonia or the patient I never died from... I never accepted that. You would put... Yeah. We would see patient dying like flies, but we would do nothing. I couldn't bear with that. And then I decided I cannot continue to work here. So there, is a, there was a very important choice and, uh, that I had to make to leave my children, my younger one. I have two children. How and old my, young, my younger one was three months old. Three months old. Wow. So that was a very so difficult you, And you decision. left when, when and was I it left a boy her, or a girl? Her. A girl. Yeah. I left her when she was three months old to go and get a job and take her later, you know. And I went all over Africa to do the medium plan, medium term plan for HIV AIDS mm -hmm. for all the countries. And that's where I went everywhere. It took six months to see my children again. The show is called The Scoop. Um, tell me something about you that nobody else knows, preferably. <laughs> Maybe one or two people, but preferably nobody else knows. You know that I'm a survivor. I just thank you so much. Thank you so much. Really, I really appreciate it. it. Thank you for coming. It's a fascinating conversation. <clears throat> fascinating.